Hey guys, so this is going to be a multi-part series in which I'm going to show you how to make the neon run from Infamous Second Son in UE4. Okay, so let's begin. So in description I've just attached uh, the, a snow dot texture which appeared on my other monitor which you'll, you'll just need for this, otherwise you could use any, pretty much any material like a smoke, smoke cloud, any dot like material. Just create the shape of our particle. So let's start with the prerequisites. Um, first we'll need an invisibility material which we'll probably use in the next video. Invisibility invisibility and uh, oh yeah and the neon particle I don't know why I just drew a blank there now we'll just make our neon particle effect so a um, neon silhouette And okay, so let's start with our materials. Invisibility we can just we'll just test in this video. So all the invisibility material all that the invisibility materials is gonna be is first it'll just be translucent and we'll have two two variables, an opacity of zero and a refraction of we could set this to let's just say 0.8 apply yep and let's just attach oh, let's just attach this to the ramp actually actually it'll be easier just seeing it on the ramp as you can see, you can you can roughly see some of the outlines and edges of the material, so it feels more cloaked than invisible, which is something we'll want to make our character when we're actually doing the neon run. Okay, we can. Move on. Okay, so for the actual neon particle, we'll just be, it'll be translucent and unlit. So let's use a cube. Um, so first we'll just use a uh, particle color so we can edit the color in the actual particle rather than rather than the material. And we'll multiply it for the emissive color by a value of five. Or whatever you want. I just want to make it shiny. And have that glow. So now we'll take the alpha and mul and multiply that by our by the uh, by our snow dot. And yep, now we have this. If we plug this into opacity, we should get pretty much get the rough material. We should pretty much roughly get the general shape of our particle and now however I'll just add a depth fade uh, okay now we can actually get started on the particle so the particle is going to have two parts the, uh, the silhouette and the deterioration ah, hi. the deterioration I don't know yeah just started right there. Okay, so let's get started on the silhouette. Okay, cool, I'm back. So all I did was add a skeletal vertex surface location, which you can find in location. And I deleted the initial velocity. All oh, right, and I have to add a, what's a GPU, um, GPU sprites. So now for... Um, for the actual particle, um, for so for required, we'll just use our neon particle, 
and we'll set our emitter duration to 4 or whatever you want it to be and your emitter loop has to be 1 so now for spawn our rate will be 100 our rate scale will be 5 and for bur we'll add one burst one burst element with a count of 5000 and and burst scales one yep that's all right now for lifetime will be a constant of hmm, ah, two work well initial size uh, constants of um, all threes <coughs> color over life um, okay I just like my color to be constant I'd like for my color to just be a straight up constant color and this is this is by far being the nicest color I've got it with so this you can I just I just feel like this pretty much gives you gives me the glow I like and now alpha so alpha at zero we want it, our particle be invisible and at one um sorry at point three we want it to be fully visible at one and okay now skeletal vertex location all you have to do is tick this one checkbox update frame position for each frame and make sure and no matter and and you have you'll have to keep track of this uh whatever you net set set this uh parameter net, uh, to okay cool now we're done with that i'll now uh for the deterioration all we have to do is duplicate this and all we'll need is to add three more elements so an initial velocity of const actually initial velocity we need all our maxes will be around 150 150 150 as you can see now it's time to burst out Um, for our minimums, I'd like to have negative 150 because I wanted to burst away from the center in all directions rather than just being stuck, rather than going like only between specific directions. So all 150, so now it's bursting out. Now we'll add our um, gravity to actually pull it back in. Actually, wait, let me. this to deterioration and so radius I liked using 500 and for constants I would I use 2500 as you can see now it's all getting drained back into the center so you can now hear acceleration it's up to you if you want to add acceleration or not um, I just like to just do this so you can more or less, so it kind of feels like it's getting pulled out, so some of the particles feel like they're getting pulled down, and then like, it's kind of has this rubber band effect, it's kind of like jumping to and from with the gravity strength and the acceleration pulling it away, and let's do another 150, 150, 150, and yep. So for first off required, all we have to do is make sure the deterioration is, is, is um, duration is longer than the actual silhouette because we want the deterioration to always happen. So we want the silhouette to actually fade before the deterioration actually happens. And for spawn, we'll change um, rate to be zero. Constant will be 2, 
because we want we want a lot less particles for this to be honest we don't know yeah I feel like 1200 is probably a good number to work at and initial size will be the same oh yeah lifetime lifetime make sure it's at least longer than this so two seconds let's make this three color over life yep color over life the same initial skeletal position yep we all want this to be the same okay cool now we have our actual particle let's actually use it so actually let me just delete this all so we want to so every time we hit F we want to spawn an emitter at location neon silhouette we'll get get actor transform split this location rotation and now we'll spawn our emitter so if we hit F we're spawning our small emitters right however as you can see it's pretty like it's all being congested to the center that's because the emitter doesn't have our skeletal information yet so for that we'll find we'll go ahead and use this so just keep make no matter what make sure these variables are the same because this one will be the silhouette so we'll create the plain image while here we'll actually we want it to, to deteriorate from the silhouette so like they'll spawn new particles from there and start pulling them in so from that shape rather than like being like the straight up circle so let's now to actually so to actually set this to any material to whatever mesh we want in blueprint all we have to do is this um, we get out we set our instance parameters we'll make an array and we'll make a particle system parameter so all we have to do is set it to type actor we'll use the name we have or parameter name we set and all we have to do here is get a reference to to this actor so self actor and if you hit compile play it's pretty much forming small silhouettes and they actually be with update frame it's following our actual character so keep spamming So it turns out I forgot to hit enter when I set my emitter loops to one. So that's why it just kept spawning over and over again and refused to fade. So let me just quickly drop my emitter duration so I can speed this up a bit to two and let's make you three and Boom. the particles have stopped so yeah just make sure you hit enter after sending your emitter loop and yeah that should be it for this video thanks for watching